Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, hi, my name is Shelby Sherwood and welcome to my beauty channel. So today I'm going to announce the winner for my 2,000 subscribers giveaway and then also it's going to be a just really relaxed chit chat, get ready with me. I vent a lot in this video. Um, so if you want to just relax, get ready, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, some chocolate, you know, some chips maybe some strawberries, I don't know what your diet is, but grab any type of food you want and let's enjoy this. All right, well, first off, excuse my hair, it's a mess, so I don't even know what I'm doing with it. It's still kind of wet, so I'm just letting it air dry while I get ready and then I'll probably just throw it up in a pony, wear some athletic clothes and move on with my day. But today is the day we announce the winner of the giveaway. So the winner for the giveaway is Rose Mary Mandesina. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm horrible at pronunciation, so excuse me on that one. Just watch out for your DMs if that's your name, and congratulations. Thank you to everyone that participated in the giveaway. It was a huge success. You guys were loving the Jaclyn Hill palette, so hopefully we will get to another giveaway very soon. This is going to be a relaxed drugstore type of video. So mostly everything that I use is going to be drugstore today. So I'm just going in with the Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I love this primer. It's such a good primer for the drugstore as well. It really fills in those pores. Ah! Oh, I was going to spray my face with Mario Badescu. Oh, whatever. We'll spray it after. But anyways, so how have you guys been? Because... I've been like a mess. <laughs> Has anyone else been a mess? I feel like it's that time of the year where like just everyone is stressed out about everything in their life. I don't know if that's just me. Hopefully it's not just me. But I've been stressed about school. I've been very stressed about YouTube, money, life, where I'm living. Just a lot. And I'm pretty much just going to go over everything that I've been stressed about in this video and see if anyone can relate and give me some tips because your girl is struggling. She is struggling. So now I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the green one with aloe and cucumber and green tea. I love this one. This kind of just like wakes my skin up and it smells really good. And I think the only non-drugstore thing I have is this um, liquid highlighter. Holy crap, can I not talk today? But this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. This is pretty much just like a liquid highlighter. And I use this in my BoxyCharm unboxing of October underneath my foundation. And I loved it. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I pretty much just squirt it on the back of my hand. And then, like, look how pretty that looks. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. And then I just take a foundation brush. This is the Morphe S3. And I literally just <gasps> apply this all over my face. So your girl looks like Tin Man. <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah. How have you guys been? I definitely want to know down below, like, is anyone as stressed as I am? Because... It's definitely hitting me hard. Like, this is the most stressful time of the year, I feel like. Um, just because we're in the middle of the semester, at least I am, at Buffalo. And we had, like, midterms. And just, like, I feel like all my teachers are giving out group projects right now. And your girl hates group projects. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I hate group projects so much. I guess it's important to be able to work in group projects if I'm in the business <laughs> industry, like, I don't know, I guess the way, like, UB does the group projects, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's not just me, but I would much rather work on a project by myself and literally perfect it, show it myself, just because I feel like I'm more proud of my own work than, like, group projects usually, so yeah. That's also what's been stressing me out. All these, Literally, all these teachers are like, oh, let's give out a group project right now and have it be due in two weeks. Like, girl, I got like four group projects right now. I don't got time for that. I'm doing YouTube. I have other work to do. But yeah, that's my thought on, that's my thought on group projects. <laughs> so I am going in with two different drugstore foundations. One of them I have never tried, so I'm a little scared. 
but we're just gonna wing it today. Today is like a wing it type of day, even though I'm not doing a wing liner. <laughs> So the first foundation I love, this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous, and this is in the shade 845. This is so good. This is a foundation and a sunscreen all in one. It has SPF of 20. So I'm also going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This I've never tried. I've only tried the Pro Matte, but I'm excited to try this out. I want to see if this has good coverage or not. But this is the shade 203 Nude Beige. This also has sunscreen of SPF of 15, so let's hope these two mix together. I'm pretty much just going to mix them together on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, the Pro Glow is so liquidy, holy crap. Wow, this is a really pretty combination mm. I'm loving this this is, has like this has awesome coverage but anyway so yeah school has been kicking my ASS lately I'm like so stressed about everything I guess I just need to manage my time better I need to stop staying up until 2 a.m. every night I don't know why I do that to myself. Sorry guys, my battery died A and B. The guys were here installing the oven, so it was kind of loud, so I was like, eh, they don't want to hear that. So pretty much all I did was apply these two foundations. It ended up really pretty. And then I applied the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the shade Light. And then I also added the Dream Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch concealer pen and I just applied that wherever I usually conceal so underneath my eyes forehead nose cupid's go <laughs> cupid's bow and chin and blended it out and then I baked my face with the this powder right here Maybelline fit me in fair light so that's all I've done and then I set the rest of my face with the Rimmel stay matte powder so Let's move on to brows. So for brows, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. Hopefully this matches. I have no idea. I haven't used this in forever. My nose itches. Sorry. <laughs> so I don't even remember where I ended off. I think we got rudely interrupted by the oven guy, but I'm glad I have an oven now because I didn't have an oven for literally like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine not having an oven and being able to cook for two weeks. Yeah, it's horrible. I wanted to literally die. Like, I ate, like, crap for two weeks. So, ugh. But I can't wait to, like, get back on track and actually, like, eat chicken and steak and good food and pastas. I just had to clean this mirror off because it was so gross. But I'm going to use this mirror to do my brows. But we're going to continue to talk. Um, so, yeah. I didn't have an oven for two weeks. That's been my life. I've been literally arguing with my landlord about it, and we finally got it. Which today is a happy day for that. <laughs> for that, thank goodness, because me and my roommate were literally dying without an oven. Trying to talk and do brows is probably the hardest thing ever. Like, do you guys like ever like you're doing your makeup and like your mom or something like tries to talk to you when you're doing your brows and you're like, Mom, stop talking to me. I gotta do my brows, like I'm trying to focus, because that's me. But yeah, what have you guys been up to? I feel like my life is a mess. I kind of got, like, upset. I don't know, I feel like I'm, like, getting upset more ever since I came out to Buffalo. I don't know, like, some days I'm, like, really happy and I, like, love my life out here. But then, like, some days I'm, like, I miss my, like, my... I miss my life back at home. Like, it, my life at home was literally, like, the life. Oh, my God. I miss it so much. I don't know if it's, like, homesickness or just I'm not, like, it's this isn't what I was expecting it was going to be. I don't know. Cause just because, like, obviously I need to take my schooling seriously and like I am like I'm trying so hard in my, all my classes now like that is literally like my number one priority even though sometimes I wish YouTube was my number one priority but I like it cannot 
live my life without a degree like I need something to fall back on even if like YouTube doesn't work out even though I hope it does a lot of things have just been bothering me lately um I don't know I don't want to feel I don't want to sound like ungrateful because I love where I've become and who I've become because of YouTube but I don't know I guess I'm just kind of like I don't know it's kind of just I feel like I'm comparing myself to a lot of the bigger YouTubers, so I just feel like my quality in my videos is not good. Like, the quality of my lighting and my camera, and I don't know, like my um, microphone, I feel like it's not up to the best standards that it can be, so I've also been stressing about that. Like, I really want to get a new camera and a new lens and I don't know like fix my lighting I guess like maybe I need new lighting I'm not sure it's like kind of like a hard thing to figure out because most youtubers like don't include their equipment they use I feel like it's like a huge secret so I feel like you really have to find the right person that actually like knows what they're doing and knows what they're talking about because like if you go to Best Buy and you ask them you want a camera for YouTube Worst place to go. Don't ask the people at Best Buy. I literally just asked like the camera people and they were like, oh, get this camera. And I was like, no, this doesn't do what I want. Like, I had to return like four cameras. Actually, that's an over-exaggeration. I think two cameras before I got the camera I would like. And I don't even like this camera now. Your girl can never win. <laughs> I need a camera that auto-focuses. And this camera doesn't do what I want it to. It doesn't like auto-focus. Like when I hold this up, it's kind of like still blurry. I don't know, maybe it's a little better because I messed with the settings, but let me know if you notice a difference, but if not, definitely let me know because I'm going to end up getting a new lens, I think, and hopefully that will increase um, the quality of my videos. I definitely am looking for one that really blurs out this background, like I don't even want to be able to really see these words, kind of, like I want it to be really blurry and really focused, and I want it to be really focused on me, so... I'm also looking at that, and it's also money, girl. Ugh. Cameras are so expensive. Like, so expensive. I would totally tell you guys the price of the one that I want, but I think all of you would have a heart attack. Because I did. I had a heart attack when I finally figured out the perfect camera for YouTube. And, like, I don't know. I don't know if I should just start working full-time again and just start managing my time more and just forget about like going out and partying. I'm not like a big partier to begin with. I'm pretty sure I feel like a lot of people know that. Um, like yeah, it's fun, yeah. But like I'd rather spend my time recording another video. Honestly, like that's my, that's what I love to do. And like no hate to any people that like love going out. Like you do you girl. Like if you want to go out, have fun. I'm taking my life seriously. Like I'm taking my schooling seriously, like my career, what I love to do very seriously and I feel like a lot of people at my age don't really do that. I mean I am really young, like I'm 20 and most people like go out every single weekend, get trashed, um, you know, do what they want, which that isn't a bad thing, like I'm not judging people at all, like I'm really not judging you if you do that, like part of me sometimes wishes I like that, but part of me is like I already went through that stage, so it's just not my thing, you know, girl? It's just not my thing. Like, what do you guys want to see? Like, I just feel like I'm only about makeup and, I don't know, there's only so much makeup in the world and so much, like, pro so many products I can review. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's like a hundred products that come out all at once. And that's another thing, like, I can't afford to buy a new product literally, like, every week. New products, I should correct myself. Because so much stuff comes out at once, it's like, how do we even keep up? Like, the people that get it sent to them, obviously they can keep up because they don't spend their money on that. And like, yeah, they worked really hard to get where they are, but it's like, how do us small YouTubers get to that point if I can't afford that? I can't afford a $40 foundation every single week. Like, I'm in college full time, I don't even work right now, so I'm pretty much just using my savings. And I just feel like it's kind of putting a toll on me. Like, I don't know, do you guys want me to start, like, vlogging? Do you want me, like, because I'll definitely get a vlogging camera. Um, I've been looking at those also. Those are only, like, $500. 
So if it definitely like increases my um, YouTube channel by a ton and like my content and my subscribers and my viewers by a lot, it will definitely be a really nice investment. But it's kind of like, what do you, what does everyone like want to see? Like, what do you guys like to watch? Like, honestly, like, do you guys watch even product reviews anymore? Or are you just like fed up with it? Like, do, do you guys like fashion? Do you guys like just daily vlogs? Do you like guys like weekly vlogs? Do you guys just like, like random vlogs of me like showing you guys some like my daily tips and tricks and stuff? Like, do you guys like seeing like DIYs? Like, I don't know. Oh, that's my chair. I didn't fart. I swear in my life. Um, so my brows are done. I'm going to set them with the NYX Control Freak, like always. This stuff is literally just as good as the ABH eyebrow gel, so I don't know why people spend like $20 on that when you can spend, I think this is like 6 or 7 or $8, so it's like half the price. Alright, now we're going to bronze the face. I'm going to use this e.l.f. palette. I have been loving this. Like, I've just been using this shade and this shade just because these have shimmers in it and I didn't like the look of it, so now I just mix these two but I think it's definitely worth it. And I got a new bronzing brush, so I hope this is good. Oh, I didn't even wipe off the rest of my baking. Oh my god. Um, this is the new, like, e.l.f. line. Look at how cute that is. It's so sophisticated. And it's kind of, like, flat right here, and then it bevels up at an angle, and it gets a little fat. So I feel like it's... Oh, I'm excited. And it's so soft. Ooh. This is the e.l.f., what is it called, 103. It doesn't have a name on it, but I love how it's like a clear handle. Cute. I like it. And this brush, I got it at Target. I didn't even know these were out like on the market yet. I thought they were just online, but once I saw it in Target, I was like, oh my god, I gotta buy this. But it was only $10, which that is not bad for like a e.l.f. brush. And this is really soft, like... Pretty much, like, Morphe brushes that are bronzers, I think, are around, like, 10 or $12. So it's not, like, overly expensive. So, and it's really soft. It definitely feels high-end. So, so yeah, I guess I've just been having a tough time with, like, really improving my YouTube channel. So if you guys really have any recommendations, like, please let me know. Like, do you guys like this background or is it too busy? Like, do you think it would be better once I have my new lens and it's really focused on me and this is all blurred out? Or do you guys really think, like, it's too busy? And do you guys like backdrops? Or do you guys like, a, like, a bedroom setting? Like, a relaxed, like, I don't know, kind of like a normal setting. Like, with plants and, like, like, a plant here. Maybe, like, a desk. Some cute little things. And then, like, over here, maybe, like, one of my Alex drawers. And then, I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, think of better and um, different ideas for my channel. So definitely let me know down below what you think. Because I definitely need some more opinions. Because I'm kind of just, like, in my own bubble right now. And I don't know what to do. So please let me know. So now we're going to do blush. I'm going in with the Essence Satin. And this is in the shade Satin Coral such a pretty blush and it's three dollars at Ulta so pretty then of course I'm using my flower beauty brush uh, this is I think like their contour brush but I use it for blush this brush is also so soft and you can find these at Walmart or on their website remember when I used to not apply any blush <laughs> Oh my goodness. So now I'm going in with the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter. And this is in the shade Day Glow. I haven't used this in a while. So I was like, wow, we need to bring this bad boy out. It's so pigmented. And such a gorgeous highlighter. Like that was... Holy crap. This is so pretty. And it doesn't... Like it's really smooth and really soft. I feel like it looks really kind of wet in a way. What else? I've also been thinking of trying to incorporate like um, a full face of first impressions, but I don't know. I tried to get all high end, but that would literally cost me like $500 to get all brand new products. So I'm thinking of maybe drugstore because I feel like a lot of my followers um, 
are more like college students, high school students, younger. Now I feel like not a lot of people can afford like everything high end. At least I can't, like speaking for my own self. Just cause I'm in college and I'm broke. I'm a broke bish. So now I'm going in with my Koki Contour palette. Holy crap. I love this. Doesn't it look like the Kat Von D shading light? <laughs> Has anyone had anything like fun and interesting happen in their life? Because I feel like I haven't. I feel like my life is so boring. It's just like the same thing I do every single week. I need like adventure in my life or something. I don't know. A lot of people are different than me. Like a lot of people don't want to leave college just because they don't want to stop partying. But that's not me. I don't really like partying. I like it to a certain extent. And that's about it. I'm more of a business type of person. Like, I'm like, I love every aspect of just businessy type things. And I love doing YouTube because it's what I like to do all in one. And it's a business. Kind of. Pretty much it's like a business. So that's why I really am like YouTube. And I just like talking <laughs> to myself in a room in front of a camera. <laughs> that's what I like doing. Don't judge. So, I'm going to move on to eyes. We're going to do a really, really, really simple eye look today just because I don't want to do anything ham and insane. I forgot to highlight my cupid's bow, so I'm doing that real quick. So, I am using this palette. This is the NYX Happy Birthday palette. Um, I have not used this yet, and my birthday was in July. So, yeah, I really want to dip into this. I'm going to do a really, really, really simple just smoky eye real simple nothing difficult at all everyone can do this so I pretty much go for whatever um, kind of shade I'm gonna be wearing so I think today I'm gonna do more of like a neutral outfit so I'm gonna stick to more neutral tones but if like you're gonna wear like a red or like a cranberry or maybe even a purple like you could definitely do this purple right here you could do this color you could do a really just light matte all over Honestly, you can do you, boo-boo. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is a really pretty, like, neutral toned brown with a little hint of orange in it. I think it's so pretty. And I'm literally just going to throw that in my crease and then bring it down to my lid and just smoke it out. I think this is just a darker color than I was expecting. But that's okay. I don't think I like these shadows. I honestly think it's the shadows. I don't know. Because I do the same technique with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And it doesn't create this bad of like patchiness. I mean this side's kind of better. But still. You see that patchiness right there? Alright. I give up. I give up. This is a hot freaking mess. So I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M433, and I'm going to go in with that same shade. These have so much pigment. It's, like, almost too much pigment. So, like, I literally, like, don't even know what to do with them. So, now I'm just blending this all over my lid. And I like to use a fluffier brush for this, just because I feel like it gives a more seamless look. I used to use a packing brush, but I didn't feel like it gave that seamless of a look. Can you guys tell, like, I'm a huge future person. Like, I want to live comfortable when I'm older. Like, I want to become very successful. Like, I just have so many plans, but I definitely, I'm trying to graduate a semester early. I have a meeting with my advisor on Friday, this coming up Friday, and... I have a meeting with him to talk about classes um, next semester and how many classes I need to take each semester to graduate a semester early. So my graduation year is 2019, so I still have, not counting this semester, three semesters left. So I'm trying to figure out a plan if I can graduate early, um, just one semester, so I will stop school in December of 2018. And I won't have to go back for my spring semester if I really can plan out and take a lot of classes um, this coming up spring semester and next fall semester. 
But yeah, so I would definitely want to graduate a semester early, and then obviously, um, I don't know how Buffalo does it, but I think we, I just have to come back in the June of 2019 to like walk the stage, but I'll actually like have my degree and be finished in December of 2018. So that is the plan. Hopefully it works out because I definitely just want to move on with my life. Like I want to just have my degree already. So then after I get my degree, I plan on going to cosmetology school to help improve my skills in makeup and just really learn about the skin and everything because I have really bad skin for my age. I don't like, ugh, I struggle with it every day. So I definitely want to do something about that. And I'm honestly like, that's what I love learning about. Like I love learning about makeup, skin, everything. Like, so I plan on going to school for like cosmetology and I want to really focus on just aesthetics. Um, just cause I don't really, I'm not really interested in hair. I mean, clearly my hair is a fucking ass, but I really just love makeup, skincare and stuff like that. So I definitely want to go for that. And that's like a four and a half month, um, plan to graduate and to get certified and everything. So I definitely want to graduate from UB in December of 2018 and then go right into cosmetology and aesthetics. So then I'll hopefully be done with that, like the time I'm graduating. I would have been graduating if I didn't graduate earlier. So I'm still on track with everything. And then we'll go from there. I just have big plans and I have a big future ahead of me. And I look forward to the future. Like I can't wait. I cannot wait. So I need to hurry up before my camera dies again. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara. Maybelline Big Shot, one of my faves right now. I think I need to get checked to see if I'm allergic to some cosmetics. Because my eyes always water when I apply eyeshadow. And then, oh, it's getting clumpy. And then my nose always runs when I apply my full face of foundation. So I definitely need to go to my allergist and find out if I'm allergic to cosmetics. So now I am going to apply lip and then we're going to be done. I'm going to stop rambling on and on. So this is the NYX Slide On Glide On. <laughs> Hold on, let me read this for you. The NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On Indefinitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. This lip liner is so good the name had to be this long. <laughs> NYX, you're so funny. But I was figuring out, I think mine's broken, because I keep trying to turn it up, and it's like a plastic, it's plastic, clearly, like you can see, it's plastic. How do I turn this up? I like, I got so mad I took this off, and then I tried to turn this, and it's not working. I think mine's broken. Like, should I put the cap on and then try to turn it? No, I've never used one of these, so am I being dumb right now? Like, is this, is this me? Is this, is this me? Is this me? Okay, it's clearly not working. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna try it and then I'll return it. Because clearly this is broken. But this is in the shade Intimate. Oh, that's a cute name. So I ran out of lip liner to use. Because it literally won't go up. Okay, it should not be that hard. I should not be, like, fighting with it. So I'll just return it and get a new one. But it is really creamy and really glides on nicely. So now I'm going to use the... What is this? What brand is this? Maybelline? Yes. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Raw Chocolate 560. Such a pretty color. That's why I did these eyes, so I can do this the color. I've never, I haven't used these, actually I have used these before, but like back in high school I haven't tried out like their matte matte ones, so, let's see. This is the lipstick, I really like this color, how cute. And again, this is the shade Raw Chocolate, I really like this formula, I'm totally going to go buy like 10 of these colors, because it's really creamy, it's matte, and it's really comfortable, which... I'm not like a big fan of lipsticks, but I really like this one. So 
big fan. So let me take this out. Alright guys, sorry my hair is a hot mess. It's having its moments today. Can you tell? It's totally having its moments. So I'm just going to finish off my face and set it with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is an awesome setting spray from the drugstore. Makes you look like not as powdery. It really just sets your makeup really nicely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Get ready with me. Let me vent a little bit. Um, definitely let me know some of your opinions and just suggestions down below. I would love to hear them and I really kind of need them right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you guys like this. I definitely took a different route, tried out some brand new products that I've never tried out and I actually liked everything that I used for once. So. 10 stars for that! <laughs> Forget to hit that subscribe button to join the S squad. Hey! But, anyways, um, thank you so much again to everyone that participated in the giveaway. I love you all so much and thank you for supporting me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Don't play with me, baby.